welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us but if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so so that we can bring you the latest news as they come and together we shall work with our great leader Mazen Namdekanu IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality and pull the Fulani Janjaweed to shame. He say, The so called Niger Delta leaders are now regretting and weeping after they have now realized that the Fulani Janjaweed are just deceiving them and they are very ashamed of themselves for being allowed to be deceived by the Fulani Nigerian government about their Igbo brothers and sisters because of the Fulani Janjaweed plan to keep stealing their ancestral land and make them their perpetual slaves in order to stop Biafra restoration. Our leader, Mazi Namdekano, has warned the so-called Niger Delta and Biafrans about the Fulani Janjawi deceptions, but they refused to listen. But now, the Fulani Janjawi have allowed another oil spillage in the so-called Niger Delta greater than that of 2010 British Petroleum Gulf of Mexico oil spill that cost several billions of dollars to clean up, including compensation to fishermen and farmers. The Fulani Nigerian government have not cleaned the Ogoni spillage which they promised six years ago. And now we have the Nembe oil spillage. You know, we have the Nembe oil spillage, which is more than 2 million barrels of oil being spilled. That of Gulf of Mexico by the British Petroleum, it was about 4 million barrels of oil and it took 89 days. And this one in Nembe is already less than 20 days. And we already have over 2 million barrels leaked already. And they have not found a solution to it. They haven't. You know, the Fulani Janjaweed are just deceiving the so-called Niger Deltans, because they know that the day that the Niger Deltans will come into agreement and unite with their Biafran brothers, that day the Fulani Janjaweed will pack their load and run back to Futajalon. You know, because the Fulani Janjaweed does not own Biafra land. So they don't care if the multinational oil companies and the oil servicing companies and the drilling companies spill oil in our land. They don't care. All they care about is the money. They don't care if Biafrans in Niger Delta survives. They don't care. They, but they know how to bribe a few of the leaders in order to shut them down. And they will now use their military to attack those who fight back. Our so-called Niger Delta brethren must wake up and join IPOB in this fight for Biafran restoration and freedom because that is the only place where they will get true freedom. The Fulani Janjaweed 
does not love them. They don't love them. The Emirates all own oil wells in Niger Delta, Biafra. They own oil wells. But none of the Biafra, Niger Delta traditional ruler owns any oil well. And those oil are found in their community. And that is why they will allow oil spill and promise over six years ago that they will do cleanup. They have not done anything. They haven't done anything. They keep lying. They are a bunch of liars. Their government is built on lies. According to a report, Governor Doye Diri of Bayasa State says the ongoing oil leak at Aito Exploration Facility in Nembe is worse than that of Gulf of Mexico oil spill. The Aito oil leak was reported on November 5th this year, less than a month. According to Diri, he said that today happens to be a very dark day for him. What Niger Deltans, Biafrans, have seen, he believes is worse than what happened in the Gulf of Mexico. According to the governor, he said all his life, he hasn't seen such a magnitude of oil spillage. He said the Niger Delta Biafrans are endangered. That their source of livelihood is also endangered. The governor emphasized and sympathized with the people of Nimbe on behalf of his government and the people of Bayasa State. The governor said that he liked to give the Niger Delta Biafrans hope that they will stand shoulder to shoulder with them. But the Fulani Janjaweed will never allow the multinational companies to do any cleanup. They will go scot-free. According to the governor, he said that an estimated 2 million barrels of crude oil has been spilled into rivers, polluting the flora and the fauna of the area. Unlike what happened, in 2010, April 20, according to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, the oil drilling rig Deep Water Horizon exploded in Macondo Prospect in Gulf of Mexico, causing a largest spill of oil in the history of marine oil drilling operation. They said that 4 million barrels of oil flow from the damaged Macondo well over 87 days and capped on July 15. The one in Nembe has not been capped, so the oil is still leaking into the river. The fishermen can no longer fish. The farmers can no longer cultivate their farms. You know, Showare was attacked by Fulani hoodlums as he was exiting the Federal High Court Abuja during Mazi Namdekanu's emergency trial. It was disclosed that while Shoure was in courtroom, the Fulani hoodlums had laid sage around the court premises waiting for him to come out. Immediately Shoure came out of the court, the Fulani hoodlums attacked him and his entourage with stones. It was reported that the Fulani hoodlums raised several stones on his car, damaging the front and rear side glasses. You know, some of the hired Fulani hoodlums could be heard telling others to chase the vehicle and make sure that Shogure was dealt with for supporting Biafrans, for supporting Mazin Namdekanu. 
Imagine that. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.